Hi, this is Alicia Schertz, reporter with Biz Times Milwaukee. I'm standing here in front of the Harbor House with Joe Bartolana. Joe, the opening for for the Harbor House is today. I think we're all really excited about it. Yeah, I'm out, I'm out of fingernails right now, actually. <laughs> give me give me an idea and give everybody else an idea of sort of what the atmosphere is going to be like here and, and what people can sort of expect. Well, I, I think, first of all, the location itself is magnificent. And I take that very seriously because having something this special on the lakefront mm -hmm. um, is a huge responsibility. And we didn't want to squander that. We wanted to deliver something that everybody in Milwaukee could, could go to and everybody in Milwaukee would be proud of. Um, for years, this was a restaurant, almost 40 years, um, that didn't necessarily live up to its potential. And mm -hmm. so we really are trying to do that and create something really special for Milwaukee. Great. So for those of us who were familiar with Pieces of Eight and, and the restaurant that was here before, right. you and Mike sort of took hold of this situation and, and really redid the inside. It's gorgeous on the inside. I've seen it. Tell, tell everybody what they can expect with some of the renovations and that kind of stuff. Well, again, uh, this location is nestled between, obviously, the beautiful Calatrava Art Museum and Discovery World, and it was sort of a blighted property. So I think Mike, you know, wanted to improve the whole area, mm -hmm. and certain plans that were in place didn't evolve the way they could have or should have, and so therefore, you know, we decided to do the restaurant. And, uh, you know, Mike had a vision, I had a vision. We, uh, we had weekly meetings. Uh, construction meetings mm -hmm. we discussed everything that we were looking for and we never had an argument or a disagreement it was actually uh, surprisingly <laughs> very easy to work with and uh, and, and so I, I think we both wanted to achieve, achieve the same thing he trusted my ability to run a restaurant I think he took a, a step back and allowed me to do that and uh, I think together we collaborated on just something really magnificent it, it's sort of modeled after a New England, Cape Cod, Nantucket. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a lot of that seagoing feeling to it. Right. When you walk inside, it's very bright, it's very airy. Uh, we have a raw bar component. We have a lot of bar space because we wanted to drive a lot of young professionals down mm -hmm. here. We're going to be offering drink specials and food specials earlier in the evening to drive some of the happy hour stuff. Um, all of our restaurants are known as a special occasion restaurant. Mm -hmm. We see this becoming one of those also. Well, we hope that it's very popular, and I can tell you this much. 99% of Milwaukee wants a restaurant on the lake. And that's just a fact. Uh, I would say that uh, this restaurant, now that it's a really nice one, is going to be very, very popular. Give us an idea of the menu. I know it's heavily seafood based. What kind of food is going to be available here, and what can, what can people expect? Well, in Milwaukee, of course, uh, in Wisconsin, uh, there's land lovers. We, people love their beef and mm -hmm. meat and potatoes, so to speak. So we, we took that in, in, in consideration. Uh, we also looked at price point and said, you know, uh, seafood inherently is not inexpensive, mm -hmm. uh, and good seafood costs money. Right. Uh, cheap seafood isn't very good. So <laughs> the reality is uh, there is a price associated with it, but it's our job as restaurateurs to find great raw materials and incorporate them in ways where the guests can still enjoy a product at a price they can afford. So we have a lot of sandwiches, we have a big pasta section, uh, we have a lot of salads on the menu. You know, you can come here and get a steak sandwich or a burger, which I think is really important. Yeah. You know?